And, and right now, these new rapid flashing beacons here are lighting up along Bayshore Boulevard. The city's calling for you to pay some extra attention here. Yeah, this is all part of an effort to stop deadly crashes. ABC Action News reporter Lauren Mazzella is live on Bayshore right now. And Lauren, these flashing beacons went off just a little bit early. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, we were watching and they actually they were supposed to go off today at 7 a.m. for the very first time, but they kind of started going off a little bit uh, on their own this morning. We're not really sure if that was a glitch or if it was just part of a test, but you can see city workers are out here right now uh, taking a look at these beacons. They're going off right now and actually I'm happy to report a lot of the cars are seeing them and are stopping, which is exactly what's supposed to happen. Now, if you can stop and take a look at, at your screen, this map shows where the beacons will be operational starting today at Bayshore in Dakota, as well as Bayshore in Delaware and at Brevard. City leaders found that these are some of the highest trafficked crosswalks along Bayshore. Now, city leaders are asking drivers to do their part as they light up. We need people to be very vigilant, be paying attention to this new traffic condition because we don't want to have any, any accidents. The whole point of this is to make it safer for our pedestrians. And some of the most dangerous times for those pedestrians are in the morning and evening rush hours when more than 3,000 cars are driving down Bayshore. And back out here live again, you can see city workers are testing this and taking a look at these rapid flashing beacons, again set to go officially live today at 7 a.m.